Hey, what's going on? It's that time for motivational. Monday, come on, somebody. Um, it's cool, man. First, uh, well, second day of March. Uh, it's my birthday month, man, fired up, man, got a cruise I'm going on at the end of the month, super excited for that, um, well, the person I'm, I'm gonna be having on, as you, uh, all know, every first day, I have a special guest, um, and I just talk to them about, man, motivation, how they stay motivated, and, you know, all types of things like that. And, uh, man, this guy seriously is the real deal, holy field. Um, man, I was going through a tough time in my life, you know, back in 2018, and I seriously had this guy on, uh, on speed dial. Um, just so full of wisdom, so, man, just passionate about helping people. Um, just appreciate this guy so much, man. Uh, he is none other than Nate the Great Woods. Um, worked with this guy in the past with my company, man. But, uh, this guy just does everything. He has so many accolades, you know, but you couldn't tell because of how humble he is in everything that he does. And so, um, man, without further ado, man, um, why don't you just tell them, man, just, you know, a little bit about yourself and, and what you got going on right now. Uh, so my name is Nate Woods. Uh, thank you for allowing me to come on here, bro. I appreciate it. Uh, something that I think uh, is most important to me, I think just from the different areas that I operate in. So I have a couple of restaurants. Um, I have my hands on rental property. I also do apartment syndicating. So uh, we just help underwrite and purchase 476 apartments. Um, and it, it ran about $20 million. Uh, and so that's kind of what I have my hand in. I, I have a driving movie theater and, uh, and I'm a motivational speaker. I have a consultant company. I have a book coming out this year. Uh, and so my team and I, um, we operate uh, at a very ha fast pace, but I think more than that, um, it's so structured so well that I'm able to do my dream job, and my dream job is to be a college professor. And so uh, I'm a professor here in Washington State, and uh, I love uh, the school that I'm teaching at, and I teach in the human services. Uh, I lead the human services department because uh, of my background as a marriage and family counselor. Oh, so man, you just listen off like 20 professions right now, man. <laughs> how, uh, you know, it's just motivational Monday, man. Like, how do you have the drive? I mean, we all only get 24 hours in a day, but it just seems like some people maximize that time to a greater degree and get more done. So how do you, man, juggle all these things that you do? Uh, I think the first thing is um, you have to know you can't do it all. Mm. Um, I'm a visionary, so <laughs> my mom says, she says, Nate, you're an entrepreneurial vis uh, visionary, so you you have a great vision for businesses, and then I build a team to go execute that. And then once I have a team in place to execute that, I let them do what I hired them to do. Mm. Um, and I think that that's probably one of the biggest struggles is most people want to have their hands in it. And they want to control every aspect of it. And I get it because I do too. Uh, however, I hired specific people with specific skill sets to run the business. Um, and when I give them that, the reins to run it, uh, that's my expectation is that they do. Mm -hmm. And I always expect what I expect, you know. Uh, however, I can't run my restaurants. I have people to do that. I can't run the, the driving theater. I have people to do that. I just, in order for me to move forward and to continue to build, uh, what I consider to be a legacy, not for me, but for my children's children. Mm -hmm. See, I've come to the station that I'm not working for me or for my children. I'm working for my children's children at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, everything that I have and that I'm working, everything that I have now is not mine, it's for my children. Mm -hmm. Now the things that I'm working on now is for my children's children, so I'm building generational wealth, mm -hmm. in a sense. Uh, and, and that's my motivation. Uh, it's intrinsic. It has nothing to do with those things that are tangible. Is inwardly speaking. 
gosh, man, that's so good, man. You talk about uh, trusting people. Um, man, what are some qualities that you look for when you're getting people to run these different avenues that, that you have? Uh, I think some of the, one of the things that I look for is um, hope. Mm. Uh, it's crazy, man. Uh, most people, the, most people don't realize that hope is very important. Uh, and when people are hopeful for the future, then they're hopeful. Uh, when they're hopeful for the future, excuse me, uh, they're more innovative mm. because they want to make things in the future work. Mm. Uh, but the moment you hope, you lose your creative drive, you lose your stamina, you lose your tenacity. I mean, you lose those things that make you resilient to stand. Mm. Uh, so, so I look for uh, for hope, but I also look at what they're is associated with. So I have to protect my brand. I have to protect my name because I'm associated with such great things. I can't partner with just anyone. Mm -hmm. That's big. Yeah. And if I partner with anyone and I don't have a very clear understanding of what your brand is or what you represent, then it will neg it could potentially negatively affect what I'm doing uh, and vice versa. Mm -hmm. uh, so for particular people that I'm looking for, I'm looking for people that protect their brand, uh, people that have a lot of hope, but then I'm also looking for um, I'm looking for, um, uh, I want to say it's called connectability, right? Mm -hmm. So their ability to connect with others uh, and do it in a, such a way that it's one respectful, it's uh, energetic. Um, uh, they're not dragging people, but they're encouraging people to come along. Uh, and then most of all, I think it's more important that they have a heart to collaborate. Mm -hmm. Most people are great. Mm -hmm. And if they're going for a leadership position, I'm looking for someone that's willing to delegate, inspect what they expect, but delegate and not to delegate so you can be lazy, but delegate so that you don't have to, you, so you can work on the business rather than in the business so much. Yeah, that's good. That's really good, man. Um, you know, talking earlier, you know, you listed um, all the different things that, that you have your hands in and, 